This game is four fucking hours long. Hell nah. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. It's like a hotel. Would he be here? It's not the check. Hotel Ruhenheim. Giving you a serene stay. Can I run? Hotel register. Shit's locked. Staff only. Locked. He, it won't open. Oh, shit. Something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Dad. Dear mom and dad. Me. Treasure hunt. Guess I'm kidding here. Drew this. Haha, <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. Okay, there's nine squares and there's a king in the seventh one it looks like in the seventh one this game is this atmosphere is creepy i'm gonna be real i'm a little how the fuck is that smiling Fuck no. The notice. Employee incompetence and lost keys. The library will be his temporary closed. Father for the inconvenience. Okay, so this is the room that was open. I think in the desk drawers. Scrap of paper. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with his big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought that it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So we got dumped, huh? The note at home didn't mention that in our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why am I playing horror games again? Why am I playing horror games again? Why am I playing horror games again? I'm sorry. Yeah, treasure's here. Something under the table. Found a gold key. You found the treasure, congrats. Thank you, sweet lady. Thank you, sweetheart. What a sweet young lady. A golden key. I'd assume that goes to a important door. I wish I could sprint. I wish I could sprint. Per chance here? Oh, that's the passcode. So maybe on the other side. Oh. A key. Key to 108. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they'll drag you away. Kind of a cult book. I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the, that sound? Surely you don't expect me to investigate it, right? Is someone there? Y'all fucking in here or something? Are they, are they like back in one of these rooms? Do we have to look for the sound? Do we have to look for the cause of the sound? We don't have to, right? I'm not going to. Right here. Okay. Something up top, what's this? Okay.
Wire cutters, all right. I know what that's for. Shelves is empty. All right. I know this song, but I can't remember. Oh shit! Who's there? I'm sorry, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I am. Um... Sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff at the hotel or anything. Who are you then? I'm David, I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm sissy. Uh, sissy then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know? I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I can help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. I'm um, David. You be careful, too. I don't trust that motherfucker. You want to look me in my face and tell me that you was staying at this hotel recent enough for you to come back and grab something you forgot? This hotel that seems abandoned? Like nobody's been here in years? Seriously? Well, I want to say that. It looks well kept. But still, there's nobody in here. What am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Oh, no, no. She's she's pretty shady if you ask me. And I ain't talking about Slim. Hold on. Cut that up. I want to check this. Okay. Thought maybe if I looked at it from a different angle, I could see it. Door in 106... Bathroom needs fixing. Key on this page. Key to 106, all right. All right, all right, all right. The fuck? I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Hell no. Nah. He'll be fine. Uh-uh. Okay. Nothing in here. Doorknob. Would it, would it work on that door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Are you sure you want to let that person free? I don't know, bro. It seems kind of suspicious. I, like that that might be the crooked man with the with the crooked that might be the crooked man that walked a crooked mile, that bought a crooked cat, that that that, 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 caught a, that bought a crooked cat that caught a crooked mouse. Uh, you know, like with the with, with the crooked with the crooked uh, uh something something that he found upon the crooked style. You you might not want to help him. Oh, hell no. Nah. What the fuck is this? Towel seems a little loose. I'm a daredevil. Hell no. Nah. Was there a mechanism in the floor? And it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. I don't know. Not even gonna give me an option. Okay. Can't see a thing, I need a light. We have a lighter and there's gasoline. There's a lot of fucking gasoline, holy shit. What is that? Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here?
What? Are, are you? Are you okay? Whoa! Yo, get out of there! Go! Oh shit! Oh sh no! Crap! Let go! Let go! Get off of me! Get off! You filthy crooked man! What was that? His neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. Am I going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. I must be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. And what's this he's up to? Did she find what she came for? First encounter with the crooked man? There's gonna be more? All right. So kill myself, basically. That's what you're telling me to do. I should kill myself. All right, thank you for that. I appreciate you being so blunt and upfront about it. I'll, I'll be doing that very shortly. Promise, guarantee. Oh shit, something was opened up from that room. Gotta see what it is. Maybe it was this. This door was always open. Let's not be stupid, Zeke. Was that sissy? Where is she? Sissy, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. I can't, I'm slipping. I can't jump that far, I got this big. That shit is not big. No time for pessimism, it's gonna crumble, I'll catch you. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Oh, she jumped! That was too close, are you okay, sissy, are you hurt? Sissy? So scared, I was so scared. No more, I don't like the dark. Where do I uh... It's okay, sissy, I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm, I'm sorry, I was scared and confused. It's all right, I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? Not yet, it wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came out by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present or? It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? I don't know much either, just that he's a man about my age. You know that little about the guy you're looking for? You're a strange person, David. Fuck you! There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't, I don't know how he looks because, uh... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful for you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. What the hell? Just thought about it. I kind of got the fuck out of there, but there might be something in here. Oh, oh shit. It escaped. Something here. Bronze key. Just casually walking around after seeing that damn demon. 
I'd say it's stronger than me, but in reality, it's just fucking stupid. I would have been the hell out of here. I would have hopped in my car and dipped out. Dipped out fast. Call out of here. Hold on. Hold on. Grab the girl and... Hold on. Dang. I can't. Never mind. I was trying to say, like, grab the girl and, like, dip out fast. Call that a Dame Dash. I was like, but it, it wasn't flowing right, so I just gave up on it. Four chapters of... The book have mysteriously gone missing. Find the pages, report to the owner. Book of the month, strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or whatever. Oh shit. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug anymore. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door. Having a number lock on the food storage. All this silly crap made the place impossible to run. Ah, oh, I missed it. Whatever, once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty absurd. Does it say the passcode? Passcode was this thing in a was this thing with a book which he changed every month. What do you what the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. A thing he did with a book. ST. Oh shit. The blackboard in the owner's room said strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Here we go. Story of the door. Mr. Utterson. I'm not reading all that shit. Search for Mr. Hyde. One, two, four, five, eight. Oh, there were four chapters missing, right? Three, six, seven, nine. No way, that monster did it really. Can I juke him? Coming this way, I gotta escape. Oh shit. It was three <laughs> Why was bro so speedy? Maybe if I drop him down here. Kick him! Kick him! Ah! No! That was not smart, but it worked. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was. But still, there's no way it's coming back from that far. And the room under here is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would get dangerous. Watch Sissy be unlocked, done unlock the door. Freaking idiot. Hold on, watch, watch. And <laughs> knock on the door to taunt him. It was three, six, seven, nine. Three, six. Three. Six, seven, nine. Yes, sir. Oh, they're shining, but it's out of reach. Okay. Give me this ladder. Right, let's go. Two oh nine. 
Dang. I don't know. Maybe I'd grab that knife if I were you. Knock on the door to Tana. Hold on. Pussy. You ain't getting back up. You ain't getting out of there. Unless Sissy does something stupid. But 209. 207, 208, 209. Broken glass. Something was badly burnt. It's a photo. There's something under the pieces. Scrap from a notebook. Okay. I don't need a memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good and bad. And all the memories inside of me, too. Ah, my head hurts. It's easy enough. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. I know I couldn't. Broke the, burned the photo to mend a broken heart. I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget, never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy! Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are a lot of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. It's nothing, but sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You might not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Sorry, I'm not trying to tease you. I'm, I'm telling the truth. Don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonored guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I right, then, when you get eight, bitch. I'd like, to, I'd like to think you're right, but if you insist, go in and get your ass eight. And not in the kinky way, neither. We'll go looking elsewhere. Fuck out of here, nigga. She finna walk out there and we gonna hear screams of terror. Ah! What? Oh, I, bro. I was about to say. Red writing. Was this here before? No, it wasn't. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me, I am waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? This motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta do something. Of course I can't fucking save. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, I figured it out. Okay, I got it. Bash him about the skull. Bash him in the skull. Yeah, back up. That won't do out. That won't do much. What else can I do? Oh. No! We said at least give me some ideas of what I could do. It just got me here winging it, bro. Bop! <laughs> yeah, it's covered in alcohol. It should be pretty fan and flammable. Hit him with the fire! <laughs> yeah, get out of here! He ran away. The hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? Find something to defend myself. Even a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? There was. I don't remember where it was though. But there was a knife somewhere. It was in that kitchen room. I, hey, what did I say earlier, bro? I didn't, did I not say grab the knife? Did I not say grab the knife? Thousand percent sure I said grab the knife. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Blood, this wasn't here earlier. Something happened to Sissy? Where's the blood? Oh, it's okay. It's leading here. You okay? Sissy, what are you doing here? Well, your arm's bleeding. So was your blood. Were you hurt? Mom got caught on something. It's not a big, it's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. Bleeding a lot though, and you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? Just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot, really. Don't worry about it. Give me a hand, Cece. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing, doesn't it hurt? It's fine, thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? It's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly. It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm on to find some measly box. Measly. But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, at least my ex to be exact. Damn, he don't fuck with you no more. Huh? Yeah, that is silly. All that for our next boyfriend? Yeah, that's silly as hell. He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That's when I lost the box. I've only been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why'd you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but... When we broke up, he said it was all I had. He was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Who the fuck is on the piano? Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little while longer. I'm, I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. And here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Thanks, don't strain yourself. I'm going. Sure, nice. You might be growing on me. I don't know if such a one, such a wonderful girl would suit a loser like me. Sorry, I'm trying to grow in you. Hold on. Who the fuck is on the pit? You're fucking with me. You're fucking me. Why are you always like this, David? Like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I mean, I don't, I don't mean to. I mean, I, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Yo, please, listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. What, sh what should I do? You, you don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we'd be, we would be both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out, surely. Surely we can talk this out, surely. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. Moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. Wonder if Sissy felt that way too. So let me let me guess, y'all finna fuck now. Oh my no wonder it didn't work, bro. He landed outside. Oh, that's her box. 
a box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. She's dead though. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? I'm glad I found this. I'll get it to Sissy Pronto. Yeah, that bitch is dead. We finna hear a Did Sissy leave already, but she's wounded. Where is she? If she's dead, I'm 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 gonna start it again and see if I can like Oh, there he is. Sissy. Hey! Hey! Stop right there! Back off, monster! David! Shit! Oh, fuck. I keep skipping dialogue. Sissy, get out of the hotel! David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster, I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you dare lay a finger on Sissy! On God! Alright. Come here, fuck nigga. Come on, fuck nigga. Come on, fuck nigga. Oh, shit. Yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Hold on, hold on. I got his ass, I got his ass, I got his ass. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah! Hold on. We don't fight fair, pussy. We don't fight fair over here, pussy. Yeah! 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 Bitch! Hold on. Bitch. Bitch! Yeah, let's go! David! David! David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. But never mind me, are you okay? Get the fuck away from the door. Get the fuck away from the door. It's like you're begging for a damn, the monster's not actually dead and it killed me through the door. It's like you're begging for that situation. Get from in front of the door. Come over here. Get from get from in front of the fucking door. Never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not that hurt. But. What's wrong, are you not feeling well? Get from in front of the damn door. Why did I have to go through this? Why did this happen? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have his memory of him at least. Get from in front of the door though. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I, can I not even love him? Get from in front of the door. No, I hate him. Somebody, somebody help. Get from in front of the door. Sissy. Get from in front of the, what the fuck? What's wrong with being a wimp? <laughs> What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? Nani? You may feel like a sissy sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David, get from in front of the damn door. You know, I was dumped a few months ago too. I was sure we were gonna get married. You too? I was dejected, even now it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even make, I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad I keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either, and it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. 
Get from in front of the door, though. David. I should probably get from in front of the door, right, David? This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know, and I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David, did the box come with the key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange, the box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, uh, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? Really? I picked it up around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? That's probably your ex-boyfriend. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Uh, Sissy, can I look at that? That's so. It matches with the notebook papers, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check that next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be all right. Thanks, though, David. Well... Oh, shit. I, I missed the fucking dialogue. I, I, I really appreciate you, David. Thank you. That surprised me. I guess that's what she said. I don't fucking know. I'm, I have such a bad... I have such a bad problem with accidentally skipping dialogue. That surprised me. Haha. <laughs> But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering sin of dreams. And this is an address. Maybe that's where he's at now. I'll go check this out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. All of this for what? Just move. Oh. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Tap into the next one. This game is scary as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. This game is get. This game is getting the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Um, it's a lot longer than I thought. I was expecting this to be like a, one of the shorter, one of those shorter RPG horror games. You know, you just play through it and shit. You know, like you could just sit down play it's about four hours i don't have four hours of time to spare honestly i got shit to do so peace out i love y'all tap in hope y'all enjoy it